Hey everybody. <laughs> so it is actually a very nice day out here in Peter's Bee Yard today. It's not absolutely freezing cold, so I'm not standing here shivering. And we have a new toy. So this is a little probe camera. And for those of us over 50, it makes us a little nervous for other reasons. <laughs> uh, but today what we're gonna use them for, um, Don't we're turn gonna your try- back on it. What? Just don't turn your back on it. Oh. Yeah, that's, that's right. Don't, yeah, yeah. Ah. Threw me on that one. <laughs> <laughs> so we are here in Maine. This is, uh, for those of you in warmer climates and we are here, this is what Maine looks like when we're having weather, which is about five or 10 degrees above normal. Yeah. So we've actually never had more than about six inches of snow on the ground at any one time. So, so far so good. Yeah. But um, we're seeing some signs of bee activity. In fact, I just saw one come out and land in the snow. Yep. You see the bees have been on cleansing flights. So there's the bits of yellow snow around the place. Now remember, we know that a lot of bees will end up in the snow. It's actually a sign that we've got a nice warm cluster in there. There's another bee flying. Sometimes have more poop coming out of them than we'd like to see. Uh, but we'll have a look in there and uh, do some probing. Yes, of the fun kind. <laughs> okay, now as we know, we're probably gonna kick up a few the bees flying. We're going to throw masks on because the bees don't like to be bothered at this time of year. They don't. So we're going to throw some veils on and hope they work. It's not our normal gear. Amy's using the fetching the top one. Head down. <laughs> and it's backwards there, Amy. The black wants to go on the front. Oh, okay. Turn it around. Just spin it around. There that we should go. be a little better. That is better. Okay. Well, let's see if I can look equally foolish. Here you go. Hmm. <laughs> see Peter putting his on. He may not even bother with his hat. In fact, I don't think I'll bother with the hat on right now. Actually, there's a chin strap in there. I don't hold it much better. Yeah, very nice. Okay. And this is just a precaution because we don't want the first thing of the year to be in February to the face. That's right, of course, and we're doing a Facebook Live today, so uh, That's right. this is the money, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to have we don't want to have uh, our eyes swollen shut. Right. Just in time for a Facebook Live. Okay, so let's. Um, we're using your phone at the moment. What we'll do is we'll edit this together. Yeah. So we will sign off here and. Uh... Okay, so we decided we're going to put it on my phone. Allow the app, and the screen is showing, and. <laughs> video of a video. Okay, so for longer distance, it's out of focus. But for one to two or three inches, it's pretty much in focus. So let's see how this is going to work. So you're going to want to slide it to video and hit record on there, Peter. Oh, yes. Oh, bugger. Yep. Okay, here we are. Slide it to video. Video and press record. Recording? Yep. Go. 
got some girls coming out of this one over here. Gills coming out of where? All right. Let's see if we can. One that we know is pretty small. And it's hard to hold everything all at once. <laughs> I'm going to try bending it like this. That's neat. I think I probably come down. Not very pleased with me. <laughs> okay, that was a start. Okay, we've had activity in here, we? Yes. Why don't I stop recording and I'll guide it in? No, it's okay. It's okay. No? No, the recording is the important bit here. You hold this as well. I'll not. Uh... Okay. Nope, I saw some bees. You saw some bees? Yes, I did. And there's a bee. What am I? Okay, awkward position. Yeah. My old Try upper. I like bending down there. So let's go to the long hive. Yes. It's a nice height. <laughs> yeah, they're walking all over it. <laughs> back up a bit. Okay. You know, we've brought a light into the house.
still winter time, stay put. Okay, not wanting to make this too long, but shows that the poten some potential. This is our very first time trying it, trying to use it. We'll get a bit more experience at it and maybe show you something a bit better. But you can imagine the uses for this for capturing hives that have gone into things like houses, hollow trees, that sort of thing, or just hives buried in snow. And you want to have a quick peek inside without disturbing them. All right. Okay, well, as you can see, this is, uh, we're gonna need a little bit of practice with this. And I, I would say it's not gonna be something perfect to go in and, you know, take a look at your cluster and, and put it way up there. But it's one way to say, do I have live bees in my hive? And for that, this answers that question. Yes, we did. The ones that we checked, we saw some bees. They didn't really appreciate it. They were curious as to who was turning on the lights, um, but it's neat. And we're gonna play with it a little bit. And um, who knows what we can uh, come up with with this and little gem. how much did it cost? This, little gem. this was not very expensive at all. I don't recall exactly, um, but it was something like, like 30 bucks. I mean, it was not expensive at all. And it'll have other uses as well. And I'm sure if you drop something down between or you want to see uh, what is actually down in your couch cushions, that would be good. Hope everybody's having a good day and we're going to uh, play a little bit more with our, uh, our little bee scope. Bee scope, as in honeybee. Take care.